Hello, my name is Lili Barrera, and we're going to do a Pilates Level 1 math class today. Let's get started. We're going to sit down with our feet flat on the mat, spine is straight. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to tuck the pelvis under and roll into your seat bone into pelvic ball. Let's try it. Inhale, and as you exhale, tuck the pelvis under, roll into your seat bones, and inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, roll into your seat bones, inhale, sit up tall. Two more times. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under. Notice your movement only happens on your hips. Your shoulders stay wide open. And inhale, sit up tall. Two more times. Exhale, tuck it under. Inhale. Exhale, tuck it under. And stay. Now, inhale, bring the right leg in tabletop position. And then the left. Take a deep breath in and find that connection with your lower abs. If you have a balance and you just found that connection, let's go ahead and extend the arms. Otherwise, you can keep holding your knees. So we're going to extend the arms, pushing the elbows back and down towards the floor, and reaching with the hands to the front. We're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to keep rolling the spine with control, all the way to reach the floor. And you're going to go completely flat on the floor. Now, we're going to remember table to position. It's 90 degree angle between your torso and your legs, between your legs and your chins. Good. Now, we're going to take a deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale, just deep. And imprint your body down into the mat. Good. Two more deep breath in. And exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine. Last time, inhale. And exhale, and relax, lower those feet flat on the mat. Good. Now we're going to open the arms to the side, palms facing down. We're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to bring both legs to the right, and you're going to look left. And inhale, come back to center. Switch sides as you exhale. Both shoulders on the floor, and feet together. Knees together. Two more times. Exhale. And inhale. Come back to center. Switch sides as you exhale. Push shoulders on the floor. Belly button in. And last time. Exhale. Inhale. Come back to center. And exhale. Inhale. Come back to center. And rest. Close your arm next to your body. Good. Now we're going to inhale. Go back to tabletop position. One leg at a time. Good. We're going to go into toe taps. So we're going to inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to lower the right leg to tap the toes on the floor. The movement happens on your hips. The knee keeps the angle on 90 degree. Inhale. And as you exhale, Lower the leg, and exhale, come back to center. Other side. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep going. Alternate the legs. If this is too strong for your lower back, you're going to lower the legs just to the point that you feel the spine is still flat on the mat. Good. Two more times. You're going to lower and come back up and left side and last time and up and left side and up. Good. And rest. Hug your knees in and squeeze into your chest. Rock side to side. Good. Now, we're going to come back to tabletop position. We're going to go into hundreds. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to inhale. And as you exhale, chin to chest. And lift the torso up, bowing into those legs. Reach with your hands to the front. And look into your belly button. We're going to start pumping those arms. 
And we're going to inhale for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale for five. And inhale for five. And exhale for five. Keep going. Every time you exhale, you're going to pull the belly button in towards the spine. Good. Keep going. Hang in there. Strong core. Pulling the shoulders down. Now, if you feel this exercise is too strong for your neck, you can stay on the floor and keep doing the exercise with your neck on the floor. So we inhale and exhale for five. Good. Keep going. Good. And last time. And rest. Bring the knees in. Now we're going to circle those knees around. Every time the legs go away from you, you inhale. Every time the legs come towards you, you exhale. Good. One more circle. And reverse. Other side. Good. Very good. And rest. Now we're going to go into single leg stretch. Again, if you have neck pain, we're going to remain on the floor. Otherwise, we're going to leave the torso. Let's do a modification and then we go ahead and do the full exercise. We're going to extend the left leg and grab the right. We're going to take a deep breath in, inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to switch legs. And switch. And switch. Good. Keep going. Now, if your neck is strong enough, we're going to take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to lift the torso up, bowing into that leg, and keep going. Single leg stretch, pulling the shoulder blades down, and the stomach in every time you exhale. And exhale. Good. Keep going. Point those toes and engage those quads. So we're going to work those quads as we work the abs. Good. We're going to go for two more each leg. Good. Last one. And rest all the way down. Now, knees apart, feet together, butterfly stretch. Inhale towards you and exhale away from you. Good. One more. And now we're going to reverse. Good. And stay. Now we're going to open the knees, shoulder with distance apart. We're going to take a deep breath in. And as inhale, and lift the arms up parallel to the ears. And as you exhale, circle around. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle around. Good. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle around. Now, we're going to try this with the neck lifted. Inhale, and as you exhale, chin to chest, lift the torso up, bowing into those legs. Now, we're going to inhale, arms parallel to the ears. Exhale, circle around. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, legs and arms at the same time. Inhale, exhale. Good. Pull the belly button in every time you exhale. Good. And exhale. Crunch everything together. And exhale. Very good. Strong core. Belly button in. Focus your eyes in your belly button and pull the shoulder blades down to release the pressure of the neck. <sighs> Two more. Good. Last one. And rest. Go all the way down to the floor. Hug those knees and rock side to side. Good. Now let's go into a deeper stretch. We're going to extend the leg leg on the floor. We're going to grab the right knee with the left arm and open the right arm to the side. We're going to inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to twist the right leg over the left and you're going to look over your right shoulder. Keep both shoulders on the floor, pulling the belly button in. Allow your body to stretch. Good. Feel that stretch. And inhale, come back to center. We're going to switch. Extend the left, the right leg. Grab the left knee with the 
right arm, open the left arm to the side. Take a deep breath in, inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to bring the left leg over the right. Look over your left shoulder. Very good. Allow the body to stretch and feel that connection. And take a deep breath in and come back to center. Very good. Now, we're going to keep both knees bent, feet flat on the mat. We're going to move into bridging. We're going to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to open each finger into your palm and press down with your shoulders, complete arms and hands. We're going to inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to tuck the pelvis under and lift the spine of the mat, vertebra by vertebra, all the way to reach your bridging position. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to tuck the pelvis under and roll back into the mat, chest first, allowing the spine to go vertebra by vertebra all the way to reach the tailbone on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under, roll up, breathe in position, inhale, and exhale, roll down, vertebra by vertebra, keep tucking the pelvis under, the tailbone is the last to reach. Good, two more times, inhale to relax, exhale, tuck the pelvis under, and roll up, all the way up, pressing with those feet into the floor, inhale, and exhale, roll back, all the way. Good. Last time. And this time we're going to stay lifted on your bridge. Now we're going to relax the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Relax the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Relax, squeeze. Relax, squeeze. Keep going. Good. Strong core. Pull the belly button in. Keep pressing with your upper body into that mat. We're going to go for five, four, three, two, last one. Keep everything squeezed and tight. Now we're going to close the knees, open apart. Close the knees, open apart. Close, open, and keep going. A strong core. Maintain the region lifted and isolated. Only your knees are closing and opening. Good, two more times, and stay, take a deeper in, inhale, and as you exhale, roll down with control, vertebra, and relax. Very good, now we're going to go into neutral bridging. We're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're just going to push into the floor with your feet and palms to lift the hips up, and inhale lower, two inches away from the floor. Exhale, reach up, inhale lower. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lower. Good, keep going. Pulling the belly button in. Up. Good. And up, pressing hard. We're going to go for two more. Good, last one. And rest. Bring one knee up towards your chest and the other one. Have them together. Inhale, and as you exhale, Allow your lower back to stretch and rock side to side. Very good. Now, we're going to keep the knees towards your chest. We're going to pull and as you exhale, roll up. Sit up tall. Very good. Now, we're going to roll like a ball. Uh, if you have a, a pain, sharp pain in your lower back, we not going to do this exercise. Otherwise, we're going to try it. We're going to take a deep breath in, bring the legs up in tabletop position, then round the spine, look into your belly button. You can hold your knees, chins, or um, ankles, whatever feels comfortable for you. In shoulders down, inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to roll and come back. And roll and come back. Exhale, and come back. Good. Now, we're going to try the same exercise with the legs apart. Point the toes round the spine. Look into your belly button, shoulders down. Exhale, roll back, and come back. Keep the pelvic pole when you come back. And last time, and come back, and close together. We're going to lower, 
cross and allow your spine to stretch. Good. Now, we're going to open the feet, hip distance apart or a little wider, shoulder distance apart. We're going to open the arms to the side, pulling the shoulder blades down. We're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to lift the torso up and twist towards the right and go down to grab the pinky toe. Look into the hand that is back. And inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, other side. Reach for those toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. And go down for the pinky. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. And down for the pinky. Inhale, up. Last time. Down for the pinky. Inhale, up. And down for the pinky. And relax. Good. Now, we're going to place the hands in front. We're going to take a deep breath in. Inhale, reach the spine up. And as you exhale, you're going to pull the belly button in and walk those hands away from you. Allow the spine to stretch. Walk, walk, walk. Pulling the belly button in. Shoulder blades down. Inhale. And as you exhale, walk those hands towards your torso to sit up tall. Two more times. Inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, pull the belly button in and away from you. Inhale and exhale, walk all the way up. Last time, inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, away from you. And inhale and as you exhale, come back up. Very good. Now, we're going to close the feet together. We're going to swing the legs around and we're going to come into our stomach. We're going to place a towel, if you want, for your forehead. Now, we're going to place both hands, one on top of each other, and then the forehead on top of your hands. Pulling the shoulder down, away from your ears, Stomach in, tuck the pelvis under. Create a space between your stomach and the mat. Lifting the stomach up towards the spine. We are against gravity, so you really have to pull up. Now we're going to lift both legs of the mat from the hips. Pulling the shoulder blades down. And we're going to tap the toes. Open and close. Open and close. And faster. Keep tucking the pelvis under. Good, we're gonna go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax down. Very good. Now, we're gonna put one cheek on the mat. We're gonna grab the hands behind. Good. We're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna kick twice and then extend those legs, lift the chest up and place the other cheek and kick twice as you exhale inhale reach up and twist and up and change size and up pulling the shoulders down stomach in up and last time each side Good, and we finish her up in this side. And relax. Good, now we're gonna come back. One group of fingers in top of each other and then the forehead in top of the fingers. Tuck the pelvis under, lift the legs off the mat and now flex your feet. Toe taps, we're gonna, um, sorry, heel taps. We're going to tap those heels together and apart. Good. Keep pulling the shoulder blades down and the stomach in. We're going to go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax down. Good job. Now we're going to place the hands next to your chest. We're going to take a deep breath in. Inhale and as you exhale, press up and pull your hips all the way to your heels 
and allow your body to stretch and relax. Very good. Now, we're going to come up and we're going to come into your palms, making sure your shoulders are on top of your wrist and your knees in top um, and your hips in top of your knees. We're going to inhale and as you exhale, you're going to round the spine. You're going to look into the pelvis. Good. And you're going to open your shoulder blades apart. And as you inhale, you're going to slightly arch the back. The head and the tail goes up and the shoulder blades comes together. Good. Two more times. Round the spine into cat position, pressing with each finger into the floor. And inhale, arch. And exhale, round, pulling the belly button in. And inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Allow your body to stretch. And come to neutral position. Pull the belly button in. Now we're going to do a stretch. We're going to place the right hand into the inside. We're going to lift the left arm. And as you exhale, you're going to place your shoulder on the floor as well as your head and your hand. Pull the belly button in. Good. And allow your body to stretch. Feel that stretch. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. And as you exhale, press to come up. And we're going to switch arms. The left uh, hand coming into the inside. Inhale. Reach the arm up. And exhale. Underneath. Placing the head, the shoulder, and the hand on the floor. Pull the belly button in. Good. And allow your body to stretch. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to come up. Very good. Now, we're going to lower into your forearms. And you're going to tuck the toes under. And you're going to lift into a planket position. Bring the weight all the way forward. Look into your fist. Pull the belly button in. And we're going to hold for five, four. Strong core. Two more. And relax, knees, and tuck the toes, and reach those hips into child's pose. Very good job. Take a deep breath in, inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to round the spine, vertebra by vertebra, to sit up tall. And inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, down. Now, very gentle, we're going to sit with control, and we're going to swing the legs around. Good, and very good job. See you next class.